Hello and welcome to how to tell the difference between relative and world location. So you will see commonly throughout Unreal reference to world location and relative location. In fact, most of the time you're using relative location. What these mean is world location is its location within the entire world of your map. Whereas a relative location is the location that is compared to its parent component or actor. So for example, let's take a look at this piece of uh, uh, blueprint here and go to its details here. Location wise, this is actually, although it looks like a world location, it's actually a relative location. This is actually the location of it inside the world because it's relative to the world as a parent. Whenever you add something to your map, it is actually relative to the world. You can actually change this to be a world location type here. And you'll notice that this doesn't actually change because they are one and the same when dealing with the root node, which is what this is. So if I change it back to relative, you'll see no change there. However, something like this is made of multiple parts. So I can see here the different components are uh, made up of this uh, actor. So I can click on each one and I can see their relative location is set to 0, 0, 0. This one's got a different one here because it's placed differently inside the actor. And I can move this up and down and change the location. And you can see the location changing here. But if I change this drop down arrow to world, you'll see it's now I've got a world coordinate system handling where it's placed. This allows me to customize where it is and how to access it. And this goes the same for rotation and scale as well. Relative means how it is to its parent compared to the world. And root ones are dragged into the world of relative to world position. So let's go for a, a little example. I'm going to go into the blueprint of this uh, one here. And you may see a common nodes where you see add relative location, for example, and you'll choose a component for this. So let's say, for example, if I choose gas dynamic trap, this thing is going to change a new location and add it onto its current location. So whatever this currently is, it will add it to it. If I were to change it to be the root here, I'm actually just changing its world location because they are one and the same. It's not doing anything different. It's just changing the location of the in the world because it is the root. And that's quite important to understand is that the root relative location is actually the world location as well. This is why we can get the world location of this and it works just fine. And you can also just get the actor location and these actually are the same values in this case because the default scene root and the actor location are the same. But if we ever want to get hold of an individual component and change its position, rotation or scale, we can just use a relative location instead because it's measuring its distance away from its parent. So let's take a look at something a bit more complex. Let's take a look at the player character that we have in here. So in the player character, the player character is set up with multiple components, all different parents of each other. And it is again the same rules. So this sphere in this component here, the location, rotation and scale is relative to its parent. So where it is in the FP gun. FP gun is relative to its parent of mesh 2P and mesh 2P is relative to its first person camera. And these values will change accordingly unless we change the drop down over here. And that is the difference between world location and relative location. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey to catch more videos like this plus much, much more. Thank you for everyone for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.